way that obviously when we're in, you know, like when we're in ourselves, you know, we're behaving in a different world than we're doing in life. So how, how did it inform you, you type of, you know, how you were, how you were performing as an actress in the scene when you were in the dream world as opposed to? Um, the other thing is for Tess, because it's, it's really um, the, I'm not sure I would do the same, <laughs> but she, I think that's what I was thinking, but like, it feels a lot more comfortable in the dream world, it has a lot more, just a lot more open, a lot more curious, a lot more, um, less, less armor, less guarded, and when she's in the real world, she doesn't trust much, you know? Trust uh, is a little more paranoid, a little more uh, feeling aggressed and confused by things. Um, yeah, so it was, it was more like a fish in water in the dreams and out of the water. There's been a, a, there's a stigma of mental health in the entertainment industry, like the house portrayed on TV and film. Um, did you do a lot of research on that yourself, or you know, to, to, for, for the character? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, not for yourself. <laughs> um, no, well, she's not crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I was not. I was not really playing her as crazy. I was playing her as having that deep feeling, deep core feeling of, of something being true, and people not recognizing it. So I was, I was diving with it. I wasn't taking it from a, you know, objective, laid back, analytical perspective. But I, I did, I did study a lot on my own. On my own mental health. Yeah. <laughs> How much did you draw from your own experience? Maybe like you know, dreams that you had that you, you know, didn't quite understand what was going on and trying to figure it out as you were how much did I take from my own experience? I don't know if it's about dreams, but I took from my own experience. But typically, that thing of feeling that something is true or that the real world, what you see in the real world, is wrong, that that, means, that is very common to me. Um, um, feeling that you're lied to in reality, uh, you know, and, and feeling that you should be fighting for something that you truly believe, even when that's not recognized in the outer world. A child, or whether it's uh, epic, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, that, that I definitely And also that instinctive, uh, there's something that I, that I, it's very strange to connect to that feeling of I'm a child, and how do I, I can't explain it, but I feel like this is my child, and I feel like I connect to this person, or this human being, or this, that was, that was, uh, Empathy in general, you know, so it's something you can see a story or meet somebody and you're going to connect with that person, you know that story, and you don't know why, you don't know why it's taking you there, you don't know why you want to engage with them. But yeah, that, that's. But I'm not a fighter, so I think you're The visual landscape of the show is literally almost boundless. How, how do you feel we should watch it the best way? By the small or a big TV screen with everything? Anything big. So it, it could be with a device this small and I don't know, the way I watch things is I have this little video projector that I carry around, you know? Like it's a Kiko? It's a QME. Oh yeah, Q. Q, 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 Q U M. Yeah. Not sponsoring us, Meta. I'm sure other brands do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can connect your little iPhone to to something big. I think it's I think it's better that way. And sound wise, also have a good good sound. It's it's well, surround sound 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 sound. Sound. That's what I have. It just seems to be yeah. the best way yeah. we've seen so far. It looks like there's no. As long as the budget is allowable, yeah. you can pretty much go anywhere. Yep. In terms of sets, have you been on a lot of big design things or things that you're interested to be a part of in terms of yeah. locations? Oh, on this show? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there were a lot of actual real locations, which was surprising. Uh, it was crazy to be in New York. I've never lived in New York before, really? so it was pretty intense to suddenly be on the top floor of this building that no one can live or afford to live in. <laughs> and to, to have that, especially the, the test lab, the dream lab. Right. The test lab for dreams is this beautiful view, like 360 of New York. And that was, you could feel the whole 
ego mania it takes to want to control dreams I think. from those locations. Yeah, those were crazy. And then they did a terrific job of doing all the sets, like the set design. Do you feel it feeds into you being the character the more realistic, even in a situation like this, that it gets you more in tune with what your purpose is? To be in a location? Yeah. I was saying, like, you know, because you feel like you're literally in that location, as opposed to standing in front of the screen, you respond to It's a lot easier, for sure, yeah, of course you get charged. Especially in a show like that, I think, because you, you know, dreams and... Yeah, you connect a lot more to the uh, environment. You can actually play with that. Well, the green screen is fun too because you can you can visualize. No, but it's true. You can imagine and project whatever you want, which is fun too. But did you visit any green clinics or any places where where uh, people do dreams? Never did. Never did. Did a lot of the. Uh, it's not dreams, but it's like this this you know hypnosis works with that or. Uh, shamanic experiences work with that little zone of you're not totally dreaming but you're in that first phase of not being awake not being sleeping kind of thing and I've always been that that Tess has an interesting relationship with her mother and her sister. Are we going to see a lot more than, of that? Because yes. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> her visit home, yeah. Where, where did you see we got to four episodes. Four. They showed us, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to see more of that. Oh, great. Yeah. And that's why I was talking about shamanic experiences as well, because it's uh, that's what Tess's mom does. She's a therapist, but in a very wide you know, vision of it, which is working with dreams, but you know, in how to influence and change and work and <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, I have to pull you for the carpet for a couple individual shots.